Welcome back to Tarentum, now known as Magna Graecia, in which Magna Graecia continues to grow, but slowly but surely, as we have taken the island of Crete, well, what's left of it, except for two breakaway settlements, which they'll be colonized one day and be part of United Crete under Magna Graecian protection, which is basically our way of entering Greece. Well, there's a lot more work to do, as I have taken interest back in the central Italia. For, um, uh, it's known. For most of Italia, that's what we want. And we're also currently integrating Etruria, which will be done slowly but surely. I could increase the speed, but I got too many things going on. So, this will be part of Magna Greece here. Yeah which will be our entrance to Carthaginian Sardinia. So that's my next area to take as a way of paying them back against Carthage's mad expansion uh, for Iberia, which if they control all of Iberia, then, <laughs> then it's going to be very, very hard to fight against Carthaginians on land, especially that they'll have enough money to increase their navy size if they wish to and are already at war against the Iberian tribes, which they seem to be losing at the moment. Well, I hope they keep losing. Strategic propaganda. That's what they're going for. Those native Iberians and others, yeah, this is their way of keeping them in line. I even thought of a flirting with a possibility of becoming an aristocratic republic, knowing that we have made such good money as a plutocratic republic, but we must change. We have to change one day, because, you know, an aristocratic republic could give us two military ideas and an ordinary idea. Be like Rome, be like Carthage. But to do that, if you wish to be an aristocratic Republic, aristocracy, need to have rights of nobility. Of course, if you wish to reform a government, that will cause a big drop in stability, so we have to do it when a country is very stable. And we would have a co-ruler, subsequently. More loyalty, more happiness and more civilization just based on what I'm reading there so we need to give more rights to the nobility which the Senate will say yes so that's national freeman happiness that's what that is let's give rights to the nobility which again it's gonna cause quite a drop in stability so uh, enacting the rights of nobility will give us more national citizen output but it's gonna add up a bit more to the poverty faction influence Pretty much tells you about something. Let's do it. This is our step towards aristocracy. As I said, Magna Grecia must change. But that change will come possibly decades later. So for too long, we have remained undecided on the subject of the conflict between nobility and common folk. It is time we rejected the arguments in favor of commoners who are ignorant enough to see a historic state fail. Stability is dropped. We can enshrine aristocracy, but just wait till its stability is at 70 again. That's when it will be the best opportunity to enshrine aristocracy. So we're just preparing for the future. Of course, once that changes, it's going to hurt us economically, but. Not if I um, invest more in businesses for the trade routes here in Tarot. Knowing that we got so many, and getting rid of it from Plutocratic Republic, um, and so yeah, it'll definitely hurt the trade a bit until we invest more and we'll be alright. Yeah, the commerce would go down, that would be the result of it. I'm not terribly worried. 
But what I'm worried about as of right now is the Egyptian civil war. There's an ongoing civil war in which, uh, which the rebels aren't doing too well, but they got a pretty powerful navy out somewhere, including three megapolarines. Andros has no ship. So I kind of thought to myself, maybe we should go get Andros. We'll send our army from Crete. Of course they have no navy. They have no port. But, um, there's an army waiting for us. Unless they're relying on mercenaries. Very well. I think we found our mission. I don't know what's going to happen, Andrews. Will it be part of our territory? Or this will be another tributary? Which is good. For, for me, from my standpoint. But don't leave yet. Now that we're building lots of more triremes. But, um... Try to get the food supply up. And this cavalry force that we uh, created in a previous episode, this is intended for home defense. In a future conflict with Carthage, likely. And if they send any of their troops on there, they will run down the roads as a quick reaction force. The cavalry and the horse archers will devastate them. Uh, at least in theory. And the, and the tactic of cavalry skirmish, a Greek trait. Yeah, we'll send our navy up. Go pick up those from Crete. We need to stop, you know. That don't stand here. The units are taking up the food. What else does it need? Why the hell not? Some, um, some of this. Just a little more food to it. Don't worry, we make good money. You know, we're keeping our maintenance up for this. Right, to Andros. We'll send our entire navy there. Although we could have, uh, you know, split the triremes or or the Byremes, the uh, Liberians, to pick them instead, but the rebellious Egyptian f fleet is probably stationed over there. Oh no, they're in the Nile. I forgot their navy can go to the Nile as far as Babylon, Egyptal. So they're on the move. But they're not carrying any troops. They're going through the Phrygian part of the Western Delta and the Central Delta. Now I have inflammation. I'll live. The Egyptian Civil War is ended. Loyalist forces win. Well, never mind then. Okay, still got Andros on your side. Oh, well, we were thinking about taking an island, but I guess they defeated their armies. I guess they found them and destroyed them. Well, it's good that you're still in power, but unfortunately you're vulnerable to Phrygian uh, expansion, which... They do not have a Cassius Belli against you. It's too bad we don't have contact with the Persian Empire. I would love to get them allied with us to form the eventual um, anti-Phrygian coalition of the willing. But the best bet would be to get an alliance with the Bosporan Kingdom. But 
competing power, diplomatic relations are good. But just in case, despite our differences, and yes, we are an aggressive expansionist, and we may expand a little more. But for now, let's get together. But in the meantime, go pick up this garrison. Because they're not supposed to be in Crete at this time. You're taking up the people's food. Then once you return, we'll treat it anyone regardless, as long as it gets our economy up. Then get ready for the central uh, Italian expansion of it. And to knock these guys out too. Oh, sorry. It's an unreasonable request. Remember, it's these guys. They're allied with Carthage. Defensive League. Recently became Democratic Republic. It seems that tribal countries usually go for Democratic Republics. Well, I'm going to be a different kind of republic in the future. If the stability improves by 70. Mm -hmm. It'll be an easy target. Just two forts, then that's it for them. And then what to do with them, however, um just makes me wonder, should we really expand up there, or no? It's not really part of Italia, but... Cisalpine Gaul. Northern Italy. Today. And sometimes I wish Masali would assist us, but they're only useful just to provide us with manpower. There's a rebellion there. Where I would put a claim on this area, sell the territory to Masali afterwards. Also, wouldn't selling territory lower aggressive expansion? I can let me see. Oh, you have to make money, but it doesn't, you know, lower the aggressive expansion. You just have to wait for your time. I'm sure there's plenty of other ways. Just give me a moment. Let me look at the stains. Ah, here it is. Improve relation costs. Well, that's what we're trying to do. But others, you know, that's it's ten. It's ten. Pain and allies prove, but aggressive expansion decay. Yeah, we'll change the stance for once. So, an appeasing stance is focused on presenting a more palatable image abroad while straightening tons of existing friends. Some would say it's a way of making amends for past sins. A little difference, but at least we can try something during peacetime. No Magna Grecia. It's time for you to go. And for that central Italian expansion, uh, we're not to use the Navy. Navy's not important for that conflict that's coming. Just for reference. I'm going to put you up there. Just to drop you off there, and then we'll send our navy to be stationed in um, Croton or Syracuse. Just heaven forbid that Bridget would be doing something. But lower the maintenance. We're not going to go to war this soon. Just take, just give it time. Now 
you all get to have a lot of food now. You'll never starve again. Just hope that Phrygia does not attack Egypt. They have no Cassius Belli against them, so it's fine. While I will try to get the Bosporan Kingdom on our side. And same for Athens, because I wonder who's the most disloyal of subjects. Let's guarantee. Here's subjects. Del Monte is not too. They could be reasoned with. But we're kind of far from it. But then again, aggressive expansion, that's why I'm trying to get rid of this. So we're just going to have to stall for time and make a lot of money. Matter of fact, so much money, since you're still in build road mode, well, we can finally build the damn road that we've been waiting for. So This is going to be through this area. And that's where it'll end. Once you're done, no more road building. Reconnect it. Oh, the civic faction's gonna be running things. Man's a very popular. Is that why they chose him? I'll be safe first. Well, the populist faction does support him, but um, but he's a friend of mine, and he's a secret gambler. Currently sponsoring games to try to be more popular, even though he really shouldn't, as he's governor of Greece. Another reason. Or Governor of Crete, if you will. Let me give him some money. That's what that's what a friend for. That's what friends are for. Oh crap. An ambitious governor. We have to watch out for him. Station yourself in Croton. Also, that's too many armies. Scram. Well, in this case, for the setup of a conflict position here. And have another army to. Mesopotamia, oddly, that's an odd name, if you remember what is the name meaning of Mesopotamia exactly, not just a region in today's Iraq. But, national tax up. Now, who's going to govern Greece? Local Freeman output. Oh, you'll do. Hmm. Just uh, give him a nickname, which doesn't do much. But watch out for him. He could definitely start a civil war. And those heads of the family, well, haters gonna hate, as some people would say. 
<laughs> Another fortress? A level 3 fortress. You really care about your city of temples. Well, one temple. And you've introduced the Isis cult to there. Now you've got a multitude of cities of temples in there. And, uh, that's what they're doing. Civilization. Oh boy, let me drink to that. Ex slave family emerges. An impressively hard working and talented slave na named uh, uh, Nico Crayon uh, has climbed up to the top of social ladder against all odds. Born in a saddle outside of Saticola, he was educated by his kindly master and worked his way to the head of the household and was eventually free. He came to Taros and provided through some shrewd business deals or others before serving while as a local magistrate has now won election to the Senate. The noble class is predictably rough about sharing the air they breathe, excuse me, let alone the benches of the Senate with a former slave, and a stink has drawn in the question on the policies of senatorial appointments and the manumission of slaves. While not a patricia by blood, a crown is certainly a well-to-do man with some influence in the Magna Grecia, yeah? um, and no doubt his children, uh, fellow Palmonos and the Vladeidats, um, have inherited his determination. That puts us far away from stability. So that becomes a new prominent family. We've got a new family. Or we could just say no. And uh, or just definitely say no and tell them to get the hell out of there. And they'll go to that other country which will soon attack one day. Or just, or just no in general. But right. that would put us in negative stability and threats to civil war. You got any children? Oh yeah. yeah. Lust or self-control? That sounds contradictory. Loving or prominent to the other? I don't know. Again, our income is good. They're all populist. And plus, we got far too many slaves in the cities that will race you anyhow. Yeah, I'm just going to say that. Ensure that you understand they are not welcome. That was a tough decision. Honestly, but I want the country kept stable. And hopefully, more opportunities for increased stability. Get up to 70, then government reform. That's the goal here. Not to mention, use all this newfound money to. Get more inventions. Enact the law costs. Damn it, should have done that. I've really been about intensive about aggressive. Okay. Two inventions to get. Wait until you make a thousand. Powerful threats. Apple Strauss land in. A powerful general in command of a great number of loyal troops have uh, issued a demand to the Senate. Despite efforts of generations of brave lawmakers, Hippostratus demands that we abolish our laws against corruption in the government. We can only guess regarding the veiled threat of what might occur if we refused. Assembly of Citizens. 
this law. Assembly of Citizens. Monthly tyranny down, but religious faction points up. Hmm. God, I guess I have to accede his demands, because it would make him a potential disloyal character and cause a civil war. He's got an army, you know. So well, I'll give it to him. It doesn't hurt the stability. So monthly corruption goes goes away. Instead, less tyranny. If there is going to be tyranny. Well, we'll try to get rid of much ex aggressive expansion as we can. And try to make it less impactful for future expansions. And intervene in foreign wars if need be. And I'm in no rush of integrating in Troy. It has to be a disloyal subject. So, by definition, anything lowered, like, just like this, has to be lowered in 33%, I assume, so we can get Dalmatia on our side, or in some other places. Outraged by the political landscape of Magrisa, Heraclitus bursts into the chambers of him. Friend! What can I do for you? I mean, we're both friends. He insists that members of the Senate's sympathetic cause would, under no circumstances, vote in favor of any legal changes made to our government. It did seem so apologetic he had to stagger out the Senate all aided by his 200 links. Friend? What's the matter with you? Anyways. Other potential disloyal subjects other than Athens has to be the Dalmatians. Get them away from it as soon as possible. Them paying tribute to us would do us some good. So improve on them as well. Even though they're building a precarious position with the other great Illyrian powers. Finally, finally finished your damn road building project. You had to be stationed in Rome, so you could follow down the road to assist them during this part of the conflict while two armies and two forts. That's what it's gonna be. It's gonna be what's gonna be. And maybe one day, as with the expansion, create one more army, and that one has to basically be like the first Stratos, with more heavy cavalry. Because we don't have enough heavy cavalry in this army, because that's only assigned to that army. That's what we're lacking these days. Bridges on the move. What are they up to? Building up their navy. Continue with the national tax bonus. Because there's no need for a, you know, war like that yet. Because it's going to be a minor war in terms of what we're facing, potentially. Seems roads is back to normal. Guaranteed. Would you like to pay tribute? Hell no. 
They don't like us because of the aggressive expansion, all these Which, again, we're trying to play peaceful here. Let me be at peace and make the money and use the said money to spend it for aggressive expansion change. So, yes, that'll go even faster. And subsequently, less cost to change along. Okay, I don't know. Less stability, less political influence. Um, well, spending. If you were to change another law. Forty-two, forty-two. It's a good-sized navy right there. Just one more trireme, then the fleet is ready. Oh, did they win? Yes, they did. They, they expanded that way. They probably had to rely on mercenaries on that one. But we can go to war with them to get Sardinia, which would be a huge costly war, which Egypt will even join us. Which I'm happy to have Egypt on our side. While I'm trying to get the Bosporan Kingdom on our side as our way of, in case if I wish to start a war against Phrygia for, for parts of Greece. Or even what I would call, you know, free Alexandria and the Nile Delta on the Egyptian front, I believe they can handle it. That's my idea. A war on multiple fronts. Greece, Egypt, and through Bosporan Kingdom, Northern Asia Minor. what I have in mind. But I do not have a cash spell against them, nor am I looking for one. But do keep an eye on any disloyal subjects, but it seems they're starting to turn around, because I think they've been... Uh, well, they are aggressive expansion, for one thing. Axomite, Axomite. This is Axom, and there is Axom. Axom, Axom. There are two Axoms. One's an autocratic monarchy, the other's an autocratic monarchy. They got two different heritages, but different flags. What the heck? And Egypt's intervened on the, the side of Axum. Again, maybe it'll be better with the wrong culture happiness. Once we get that aggressive expansion, go down. As I've stated before in a previous episode, they are a shadow of their former self. Concerned with the spread of corruption in our government, the representative of the populist faction, Senator Heraclides, aroused a certain support for changing our legal stance on corruption. He proposes that we drop the assembly, says, and replace it with far more strong anti corruption tenants. Oh, well, I am pretty corrupt. But the real question is how corrupt are you? And we may have to give you an office. But he's far too low. He's my friend. But you wish to institute an assembly of soldiers instead of citizens. Less fabricate claim cost. There's no tyranny here. But to lower fabricate claim costs for other places? Uh, for once, I'll give it a you. There you go. Again, law changes. 
I mean, we do have a claim on Northern Sardinia, and if you want to lower the aggressive expansion or war score costs, you got to have more claimants. I guess it's about as good as any to make another one. Sardinia, Austria. So we'll have two parts of Sardinia claimed for future war against him. Not to mention we have a possibility of expanding to there as well. And I see that they got elephants. I mean, they're a small army. So, territories that claim provinces are cheaper to demand in peace deals. So, hell yeah, let's do that then. Is it? Yeah, let's do that. Why didn't I think of this before? Cheaper. Less. You could sell territory to your... I mean, I wanted to give Masali a Masali back one day. You're pretty healthy with a man with dysentery. Perhaps I should fabricate a claim on those guys. So we'll establish our presence there, and then sell the territory to Massalia so they'll have a port to go to, and assist us in wars finally, instead of just being a manpower provider. Hobbs matter time. That's the last one. We swear. Needs a little bit more of this, so how about ten? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then you got your navy. Digitaria. Why don't we have that? Oh dear. Um, Heraclitus Agatho kid and his dreams of high officer are very well known in the Senate of the Mag Greece. Larissa has been lobbying more urgently for his suitability and deservedness for the role of tribune to, of the people. Ordinarily, we would be able to appoint whoever we'd like in the post without causing offense or starting rumors. The enthusiasm of him put us in a rather awkward position regarding the common official Cosius Agathus, the Roman. Well, he's in, he has inflammation and cancer, but he's always loyal to me. But I'm a fair man, so I'll just say maybe it just isn't your thing. He'll be less prominent, but the Roman will stay loyal, and you, well, can stay quiet. Military faction may soon be power again. Matter of fact, next two years, wartime. Got it? Not to mention all the manpower and money. And that research that technology helped up increase the monthly balance bit. Lots of politics in this episode. You have your support. They're definitely building up an army. They know what's coming. Once we get those claims fabricated, then, then it's time. And we're halfway to fully integrating Corsica to Magna Grecia, another part of Italia. No longer disloyal. 
Well, the bridges managed to calm themselves down until they start another war. It's in the Peloponnese. Finishing off what's left of the city-states of the Peloponnese. Except for Argos. But they paid tribute to them. Got more elephants now. Almost at the max. Ooh, we're almost there. Look, we're both major powers. We have to support one another and as a way of stopping Phrygia. I'll even send you money. I got plenty of them. Barely. I could. Uh, that's why I tried my best to get rid of the aggressive fans. Just show we're not the aggressors here. Oh, we got it. We got it. Spot the close to force. Spot the good. I know you are a lustful man who is also depressed, but you're good natured by heart. We're going to be best friends. I don't think you'll assist us in all of our wars, but you will definitely assist us in the war against Phrygia. But, however, they do not have the manpower. They do have quite a bit of the navy and the number of cohorts it has. But I believe they're more mercenary reliant. If they got low manpower. Again, it's a fairly sizable country, but you do have a few allies of their own in Thrace and uh, Carissimia, which these are, who are these people? Scythians. Friends of Scythians and friend of Thrace, which they're fighting against the Thracian, the, the Thracian get to. I mean, we could have allied with them too, but... I believe the Bosporan Kingdom has my confidence. Even though they're quite close to Phrygia, but they could help us out on the northern front. And I don't know their naval range well. So there you have it. Bosporan Kingdom, Lagonia, Zubazatia, which I don't want to end the alliance with them just yet. And soon once Truria is integrated, then there's room for another alliance. Whoever it may be. It's too bad that Saranaika, our former ally, though still good relations. Like, we could get them back with us, um, if they wanted it to, but... I don't know. I like their navy. They got good manpower. But that's for the future conflict against, um, Carthage. Which, once again, they're on the aggressive side. They are becoming an antagonistic country. Well, you got lots of friends too, but you still got the show. Mm -hmm. Remember, so these claims are fabricated, and the military faction will be in power in two years, and that's when we'll start aggressively expanding again. Navy is not to be used for this conflict, but the one with Carthage, definitely. Akadamos is dead. A best general. Diphtheria arteritis inflammation. Dalganes, he's still doing alright. Our best general is dead. Who's gonna lead this army now? 
Mesopian uh, Mamrucus Ovidus Content and obsessive Just as much of a martial skill as you Obsessive sarcastic so we got two similar guys Coward Well we have the numbers we don't necessarily have the best generals anymore Maybe one day you'll be adapted to one of the great families. Well, depending on the definition of great. Hmm. Governor of Italia is planning quietly. Whatever he's doing is up to no good. If we didn't have that, we would have never had the Bosporan Kingdom on our side. Keep up with the stability. Now you are investing in a navy. And you've intervened. You were allies. Now, if you fought against each other, that's why you're having this military build-up. But again, we don't have the naval range to meet the Thracians. You can only go as far as Byzantium and cover the southern front, and that's that. Hope I'm doing the right thing. They both got low manpower. But again, they haven't called us. It's not their war. Become an aristocratic republic when the stability is up to 70. That would drop us to 40, and there would be threats to civil war subsequently. No matter how many gods, how many sacrifices to the gods we can make. Especially loyalty to governors. It's a good thing we're making all that money these days. And some good tributes, too. And what's the income of this country? I don't think you can read that. Yes, you can. Pretty good income. That's gonna. Oh no. Oh no. I see what I see. Look. They're gonna need some help. Send the coward. Oh, you started that war. But clearly, you're in a bad way. again later. If you lose this war, we're breaking an alliance with you. We can't rely on Iberians to deal with Carthaginian matters anymore. Carthage may take advantage of this situation. Claims are being made. Anyway, I'll 
Cups Maritime is this area. All of this is going to be Massalian one day. What you doing over there, Egypt? Oh yeah, the Axumite War. Phrygian Persian War. That's a big one. If he scores big on the expansion, I hope they become more disloyal to him, knowing how much of a madman that they've become. And by the way, when you're a great power, they can't have alliances. But they still got subjects to help them out. Impossible now. Bosporan sandals are on the ground. with them as a satrap they will assist them. That's why I mean I wish we would have all the Persian Empire as another way of dealing with them. But we don't have contact with them. One more technology spend will do. Now, don't start the war until the military faction's in power. Let's see. Well, that'll keep them busy. But unfortunately, um, Carthage is going to be assisting them. That means they may have to establish a presence there. Just despite our Massalian friends. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know you're we taking attrition. Decision here. Faster army movement speed and siege of it. Oh, that's good. If we got the money for that. Actually, stand here. Sorry about that. This July. Alright. We've done a lot of law changes for the past few years. And we know where we're going to go for. But remember, war against um, them, that means they join, but not Carthage. Carts has got their hands full. Yes, please do. So, siege ability. More importantly. Because we need to win wars fast. Cousin belonging to one of the lesser branches there with a good family has him become embroiled in a scandal at court. According to the eyewitnesses, the youth managed to publicly shame himself in an incident involving a tattooed sailor in a crudely drawn portrait. Let the family handle this. You know how big this family is? We can handle that. Hey, welcome to Crete. They do not have the naval range, but it's good to know. 
that they would be daring to go that far, and be on our ports to have uh, their ships repaired on such a long journey. So it is entirely possible to, for the Bosphoran Kingdom to send their fleets over and send their armies over here. Diogenes. He was previously uh, Archon. Now he's going to be running for a second term. I have to get the army maintenance up. Oh my goodness, did Carthage really expand their navy? Bastards! That's why they keep expanding land, because they'll be spending money on more ships. They get larger and larger. But with the Egyptian navy on our side and the future against Carthage, hopefully they'll be the difference maker. Either that or have a restart in alliance with Saranaika. Then our combined navies of the Mediterranean can defeat the Carthaginian navy. 62 each. Well then. Sounds like we may be a little outclassed here. Just for reference. You haven't made other friends, have you, other than a defensive league? Now we know what awaits them. Level 9, level 10. Large army. Than they do. Plus, he's not healthy. What? We can get them both together. What does the Senate say? Divided barely. First, just the maintenance of the army. No need for forts. This is mainly an offensive war. So it's going to take a little time. use up too much of the food. Barbarians raiding Massalia. No. It's, uh, Massalia. Again, cost to deify ruler doesn't mean much in a republic because that's for monarchies to deify rulers. Not particularly interested in those technologies. Oh. I guess you did deal with Thrace. A bit of it. I think they defeated the Gettians, or, or did I always have a territory? I don't know. They have no ill will towards the Bosporan Kingdom as they're still allied together. What we need is an anti-Phrygian coalition. Dardania can't be dealt with. Just wait till the morale is up, then start the war.
Voda. Success chance of 2%. Why do I view him as my rival? He's my only rival, and he's just a researcher. Don't assassinate me, please. You may never know that a, a fat chance could be the man's luck. Even though I could have been drilling them right now, but we ain't got time. We ain't got time to motivate all these troops. Just looking up everybody's tactics. Alrighty then. Barbarians and Messiah Gates. Aggressive expansion may go up again, but hopefully not too much. Because I do want all of this, though. Not to mention cheapen the war score cost. Either that, or beat the heck out of them and make them a client state. Which, uh, which has a pretty good size to it. You can't make it a feudatory, because that's not our culture. He's Ligurian. Or Greek. Just for future reference during the course of the war. Have to fabricate one more claim out of them. The Fago itself. Just for reference, if the Sardinian front goes really well, and then we'll take it to Carthage itself. If you want to eliminate the large navy and their economy, we'll take out the center of their economy. Carthago, all of this area, I must fall. There was Utica, but I guess they've been um, integrated. I'll tell you what. It's like if you want to destroy the center economy, we'll take out Carthago itself. Carthage. There's a large population there. Major power, trading sports in the province, all that. All of this needs to go to us one day. Just hit them where it hurts, and eventually, all of Africa. And maybe, I mean, I don't know, that's too grand of a plan. But consider this conflict as a precursor to the war against Carthage. Another, but Bigger stage of the Greco Punic Wars. Senators to prove understandable. We can get them on our side. Of course, I'm not a popular person, but. I mean, if we were in another war, that's one of the reasons. I'm a friend. A faction leader. That's the main reason why. Our best bet has to be Mercantile faction. <sighs> Mercantile. I got plenty of money. It'll take time. Plus, this man's gonna die soon. In fact, a couple of months, time. And he's gonna spend the rest of his life gambling. I think we may need the Bosporan Navy to help us out with the Carthaginian Navy. Because I could expand the Navy even more to match the Carthaginians, but I think. Us and the Allied navies can destroy the Carthaginian fleet together. I think that's probably our best bet. I 
and maybe get Saranaika back on our side. Because, you know, they got Mega Polyrims too, you know. In fact, uh, what's your... I didn't want to do that. But it has to be. If I wish to befriend them. Yes, they do. Phrygia, well then they follow the Antigonid path, obviously. They're going all Antigonid. And that means they have Mega Polyremes on their navies, too. Probably that's the next thing we should say for the military experience. We know that Carthage is now has noble warlords, and they got better fort defense now. Their ships are more resilient, and so are their defenses. What say you? Well, it's going to add up a little bit more tyranny, unfortunately. But the war score cost will be less. Nearly full. We'll keep our defenses down. And we're not using the navy in this conflict. It's only... Um, okay, understandably. I'm not going to call any allies in. Except for the subjects that will be with me. And this will be Etruria's last war to assist us. Genoatia will go down. At Turnum, that's the objective. It's part of Italia, part of the uh, matter of Italia mission that we're trying to do here. This will finish our mission. May the gods be with us. No need for allies. We'll, we'll be alright. We're going to attack them. They're going to have to force march to assist us. And we'll assault the fort. And we'll provide backup. Well, they stay there, their home defense. But for reference, position them in Rome. We got you surrounded. Pick a good tactic. We know where they're going. Unless they're going over there, which makes sense. Again, Carthage is not coming. We're going to take out one of their allies. That's why I say consider this as a precursor to the Carthaginian War. I think it would be advisable for you to go chase it down. It's probably going to be going that way. Unless you want to have a knack at it. Yep, just like we predicted. Got him. I got the general. Once they're down, then 
go for this, and then we got the territory. Now get back to your post. Soon this fort will have served its purpose. We have to build a new one, you know, bordering the Roman territories. Hi. I think I know what they're up to. Come on, your cavalry. Stop. Horse march. Your home defense. Your goal is to get rid of them. This will be very easy. So far, so good. Got them all, but y'all. Had you captured a console, then that would be great. I don't know if you can really capture a scan. I don't think so. That's just my opinion. Now, remember your post. Slow down. There's no enemies. There's no need for a fortress in Nona. Give it here. And you'll begin your siege there. And you've accomplished your goal here. Wherever the Navy's going is irrelevant. It'll be a total victory for us. Hey, what happened here? We lost our ally. They formed an aristocratic republic. Was there a civil war up there that I wasn't aware of? We lost our ally, but... Then again, it was an old friend of ours. It was part of the anti-Roman coalition, so... If there were democratic, now they're aristocratic. Guess we'll get together, still. May need you. For future reference. You did your job. Get out of here. This place has fallen. Move on. We're going to take our sweet time with this. Economies very well. It'll be improved a little bit more once we take hold of this and knock out that Carthaginian ally of theirs. So they'll have to look for someone else and stay out of our Italian sphere of influence that the Carthage has hold of. Of course, we can't advance there, but we'll do what we can. Even if we have to starve the province out by having the two armies here. Still got a good surplus. Oh, how about some more grain? From Nephis. Center of it all. Yeah, that's where they're going. Evacuated. Needs a little bus journey. And armies have to move fast. Knowing that slowly but surely this is going to be more of a mobile war in future conflicts. The 
capital will be ours soon. Thus completing our goal. But we want to wait a little longer. Sad. We're not gonna get away with this. Look. They're taking them out. They'll probably win on this front, so that means we'll have more land to grab. And that means Carthage will still have their ally, even though weaker. Right? Oh, it's turning around. Objective complete. Stay put. Let's see the outcome. Look at that. They're all winning. Those barbarians are winning. And that old party leader is dead. He had one eye before he died. Ugh. At least less charismatic. Faction. Anyone from the military? Even though most people in the military faction never hold this front because of lack of charisma. Let me see. Eight, nine. Bad statesmanship is way better, so. Oh well. Wish we had more stability. As I said, I had a civil war that I wasn't aware of. Well, Rome still got their friends in, maybe on the verge of a civil war. Make things better. Yes, they got kicked out of there. Plenty of food we have here. somebody else. Well, he was going to be the next Archon, then who is it going to be then? Or... Oh no, that was party leader. You had him confused with someone else. Okay, uh... Who's a better statesman? Unfortunately, these are those guys in that faction. Let's give it to him. It's not going to cause much influence, but... At least they'll do what they can. Off you go. One more fort to take. Oh, what the hell? Guys, or beat us to it. Not gonna make it. Not gonna make it. No. Nah. They beat us to it. Guess we'll have to split the lands then. But nonetheless. Huh. If these guys are going to take that piece of territory, then we'll take ours. Take what you can get. Because we'll be fighting each other one day. Lugaria and Option Memory Time, it's going. 
so just quick. Don't let them grab all the land. We'll get our share. Mine. Oh, nope, they got it all. Well, shoot. If we're going to partition this land, so be it. Unless Carthage comes in and ruins everything. They just say, hey, we have a claim here. That land was supposed to be ours. You bastards. Beat us to it. Statesmanship reasons. Well, we'll see what happens. So we've got this territory occupied, which we can end the war if we want to. But I want to know what's going to happen. They've liberated their territory. They have failed to take the objectives that they've wanted, which was Transpadana. That's what they wanted. And since they got Genoa, then there's a possibility that they're going to make their gains here. Well, we get our share. But I'm not going to call off that war yet. Unless you want to stall for more time and make it a complete victory, and therefore, 100% war score. We can make all the demands. Just stall for more Crap, a granary fire there. Carthage has finished another one of their small wars. Now they're assisting the Genoatians. They haven't come back to try to liberate this territory, have they? We know that Carthage can now definitely, you know. Now they're going to be expanding into there now. A further complicate things. But do not worry. Sardinia will be the next target and will finally put a stop to their expansions. They can expand all the there they like, but in return, we'll take Sardinia and eventually most of Africa. That's what's going to happen eventually. Until I just wait until the war scores at 100%. I could end it right now, but. Nah, just stall them. In case of what happens. Oh, what the hell? They're invading. Call the home guard. We got trespassing. Not what I was expecting.
Finally, some action. This could be our way to get rid of their army for good. We'll put you in this position. The pirates are raiding. Who's pirates? Who hired them? Slow down, get the morale up. Plus, that the army moves faster than before. Yep, we are catching up to them. That's why we had to pick all cavalry, because of the army movement speed is faster than the foot troops. Well, welcome to Sicily, you bastard. Bad tactic, though. Skirmishing, but nonetheless, we got him. It didn't matter. <laughs> got their general, and a damn good one at that. We need someone like him in our army. Won't see them again. They were definitely mercenaries. Somebody hired the pirates to raid our coast. Yep, they went back to their places. Now they're going back to their little pirate havens. I guess that's the price we have to pay for dealing, making business with pirates that we've been doing for centuries. And no change on this front, unfortunately. Excellent conditions in Kosilion. What if I have a coincidence to bless into Tiger just to build your management? For the past year production in the city of our Kosilion, the far surpassed the predictions of local bureaucrats and administrators. So, um, well, we could simply exploit these boons for short term gain. Some have suggested that this is an opportunity to study the organization of slaves in, in Kosilion, uh, who by all accounts are an unusually Satisfying and productive bunch, attempting to apply the lessons to across the province of Lucania. Alternatively, we could simply, of course, uh, of course, simply allow whatever fortune could sell. They all enjoy it, and it's not to cause about interference. Oh, make the most of the stroke of good fortune. Invention. Bastard shipper. Hmm. Thinking. Probably that, in case if I needed spire disloyalty, as we had a habit of doing that. Early in the series. Our income will increase soon. Hmm. They called it off. It's white peace. All right, back on. Well, actually, stay there. You do the staging. Told you all that waiting paid off. They called White Peace. They could not gain the territories they so desired. In this case, ravaged the countryside. Well, can't really go anywhere but here, but... Well, you know what you mean. The Guria will be under our control soon. This is 
jar, Siege. I told you all that waiting paid off. That's why I said wait till 100% for a complete victory. Oh, a complete victory it will be. Especially the siege abilities that we have these days. None of our research are gone. Yeah. All too easy. Only lasted 99 days. Like this and this. And then, done and done. Of course, that's going to make the aggressive expansion go up. Hopefully not too much. Don't you worry. Hundred percent. No war exhaustion. Splendid. Brilliant. So again, this is for that small piece of land that we declared war on. But however, aggressive expansion will go up just a tad bit for claiming all of this. Unless you want to make them a, a client state. But it's... But, the, but for a lowered cost. Even though we do have territorial claims there. Again. All this will go to us. Well, at the most. Again, they cost up a bit more, but the clients they cost less. I mean, we're getting rid of uh, Etruria soon, and having these guys as a client state, um, give it a moment. So there'll be no civil wars with them. Their max power was fine, and their economy was fine. And plus, do we need to appoint a governor of, of the Cisalpine Gaul? Because that's just a whole nother territory to, you know, care of. And that would mean we would be more looking more towards north dealing with countries like Rome, Boy, Canomania, and eventually make Ligonia a client state for being such good friends and then integrate them subsequently and, and so on for this whole region. Which is a bit more complex. Hmm. What's that way? You know, beat the heck out of them. I think a client state making them would probably be a bad idea. They'll probably remain disloyal. But regardless, it's a big difference that um, Carthage would lose an ally. Because all of their allies are nothing but tribes. Pro-Iberian... Uh, Iberian tribes that are pro carthaginian Well, this one, well... Had a special case that... This will finally get rid of the Carthaginian sphere of influence of this region. So... I think we'll have to take it ourselves. It's gonna be good for the economy and manpower, regardless. But it'll be a small impact on aggressive expansion. Told you. Now, uh, banish those a class. Get rid of them. Now it's just a whole nother territory to govern. What's the largest city? Oh, by the way, Greek names. Pisa. Keep that port there. This one uh, stays too. Oh, let's take this down. 
I think uh, this will do for this front that we have to cover now. What's a bigger city? No more pieces. Either. So that area there will be, uh, let's say, capital of Liguria. What's the capital of Pisa? That should be the capital, but needs to be a piece. Well, wherever it's going on. Focus this and upward, focus this and upward, and prima upward. Okay, it'll be him. He'll govern this region. But food is good. Don't trade with the Constantinians, for goodness sakes. We're going to be at war with them in the future. Good resources. Needs a bit of cloth. Just for the taxes. And some stone. Alright. Now, as for here, get rid of this one. I really don't care much about this, uh, either. I mean, it's just a whole other promise to cover. Well, they will continue to pay tribute to us, but we may have to let them go one day, make them a client state, and integrate with them. Return to here. Wow. You lot will um, head to Neapolis. Just to get to the coastal positions, you'll be at Rome. Um, to set up for the uh, Carthaginian War, the Greco Punic War again. In the meantime, let's complete the missions. Made gains, so. Five times a civilian citizen will appear in Hestonia. We'll gain every territory of Apulia. And we already owned Apulia. Almost there. Um, so, I mean, we already own this territory that we fought for. So now five Italian freemen will appear uh, of that area. That him that name retains. Didn't give him a Greek name. We already own Apulia for the longest time. Now we need a governor of Italia. Also, we could change governor. Someone from the. Uh, Okay, which one? It's for, it's for prestige gain for either family. The Agatha is less prestige, so find me an Agatha. You ain't gonna like it. Look autonomy. Agatha, Agatha, Agatha. Him. Just picking a side. We already did this. And therefore, triumph of Italia. We have a governor employed by Magna Grecia. And, they, and he's a loyal one. At least the family will be happy. And so therefore, Rome gets triumph. With more population output and their citizens will be much more happier with us. And the governor has no marshal, so he'll be getting plus one marshal. And therefore, mission complete. For the matter of Italia. Even though we could do more of this again to get more of Italia. Or we could try to stabilize and grow. But the Pan Hellenic government will be waiting because that's going to be for the Phrygian conflict in the future. So continue with the matter of Italia. Where does this take us now?
We already have... Oh, yes. Sardinia. And we have to get them, too. In the meantime. So that means more territories to claim. Including this subject, which will have to be, you know. So, can conquer Sardinia. And then, uh, well, we have to change governors again soon afterwards. We already have all this, but we do not have this, so we may have to fight against the Romans again. If we go to that, to that path. So we'll, so we'll end the episode like this, ladies and gentlemen. Um, there'll be more um, conquests relating to the uh, territories of Italia. Because next time, Etruria joins Magna Grecia. Therefore, Corsica will be ours. And we'll have to take down all but one fort there. And then we'll start another Greco-Punic War against um, Carthage for Sardinia. And if it goes well, then we may have to go to Carthage itself, just to try to hurt their economy. And, uh, of course, all the other possible tragedies that may happen in wartime. All that and more. And if Carthage is dealt with, then we're going to have to start looking at Phrygia. Maybe we'll have to um, get Greece. Form a pan-Hellenic government, a united Greece, against Fridge. May or may not have it, because it's a whole lot of territory to get. But there's two ways to enter, south and west. I guess that's going to be our future plan for this series, if it all goes well. We have the manpower, we have the money, we have the navy, and the navy of the allies. All that and more. So, we'll see you in the next one. Until then, so long for now. Also, good job, Sibutsia. You've grown again.